So as I prepped for today's talk, I thought back over the past seven years, and we've definitely had our shares of highs and lows, you know, successful deployments, crazy outages. And what you see here is a graph of database infrastructure happiness over time, uh, plotted between Armageddon at the bottom and Nirvana at the top. Now, we're not going to be able to cover all of this, but I'll try to hit on some of the key points. And to kick us off, let's start in 2011 when we first needed to contend with scaling our database tier. This is what our architecture looked like at the time. We had a PHP web application with a custom data access layer that managed connecting to our memcache pool and our active MySQL host. Now, when our market traction started to take off, this began to bust at the seams. Our replication stream was lagging. We were running out of space on disk. We had to do something. So after thinking long and hard and considering all of our options, we ultimately decided to build a sharding layer on top of MySQL. Now, if you want to uh, learn more about some of the design decisions that we made and also how we were able to incrementally roll this out without impacting our customers, you can check out this talk from, 2003 that, from 2013 that goes into more details. After rolling out sharding, it was pretty smooth sailing. We invested in our test coverage, we did some cleanup, and we kicked off our next big re-architecting re -architecting effort, which was to build a service abstraction layer for our database tier, which we called Credence. We basically took that data access layer, pulled it out of our PHP web app into its own Scala service, which enabled us to develop in a language environment that was better suited for our needs, to build a client agnostic data tier, and to better manage and control our database traffic. But then, as you can see, we have a pretty precipitous drop towards the Armageddon end of the scale. After a series of bad outages, we realized that we'd gotten to the point where the database tier was actually the number one reason for box-wide downtime, which was not a great state to be in. And so this kicked off an intense phase of focusing on building up the resiliency of our infrastructure. Now, how did we get to this point? You know, scaling ahead of the business is actually really hard. If you're working at a growing company, then your load is constantly increasing, your data footprint is growing, your, uh, your uh, traffic patterns are evolving, you know, everything's constantly changing around you. And with databases in particular, they have several characteristics that have kind of a cliff-like performance profile. So you'll have a metric that slowly gets worse and worse and worse over time, and then all of a sudden it just tanks. And so it's actually really hard to know how far away from the edge you are until you're basically staring right at it. <laughs> 